Good evening everybody and welcome to another student talk session tonight. Tonight we are going to have our fifth session. Alright, and tonight we are going to have again two different uh, students from diff two different universities. And our first guest is Seda Kozaklı from Dokuzeylül University. And other guest is, is Samet Ol and he's from European University of Lefke. When they are here, we are going to start our live session with them, okay? And I don't want to waste time, I think they are here. Let me invite them and then we are going to start our lovely session with two fantastic students. Alright, let me invite them. And now... I have invited Samet to Yes, I have invited both of them When they are here, we are going to start And I see some uh, uh, familiar people, hello Hi Samet! Hi Ojem It's great to see you <clears throat> Someone is. Someone wants to join Oh, okay and I'm waiting for Seda to join. I have sent invitation to her to join. And when she comes, we are going to start Summit. Can you hear me, by the way? Is there any problem? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I have invited Seda. Seda, can you please accept my invitation? Let me invite her again. Yes, I have invited again. There she is. Yes. Hello. Okay. Hi, Seda. Can you hear me? Yes. And can you see both of us? Yes. Wonderful. Summit? Yes. Yeah, okay, great. All right. Yes, Summit and Seda. Thank you very much for accepting my invitation uh, to teacher talk. Sorry, student talks. And it's really... <laughs> Great to see you here. Thank you. Thanks for the <laughs> Okay. All right. So I don't want to waste time and I don't want to take your time by talking like this. So and we can start. Are you ready, both of you? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Wonderful. Okay, then. Okay. Can you tell us about yourself, please, and a bit about your experiences in language learning? Let's start with you, Summit. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the session. It's going to be the second time that I work with Mr. Inet. My name is Samet, <laughs> and I'm a 20-years-old student studying English language teaching at European University of Lefke in Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. And my language learning journey uh, started with SKV Channel, which is Disney Channel. And when I was a younger, there were lots of, lots of TV shows, TV series for teenagers. And the more time I spent in front of TV, uh, the more curious I was about the famous persons, uh, different cultures. And I, and I always searched them on the internet, but everything was in English, their songs, their magazines, whatever you call it. So I had to know the English actually. And yes, this is how I met the English. And moreover, the following years, it became my passion. Uh, mm -hmm. language throughout my education life and now I'm studying language teaching. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much, S uh, Samet. What about you, Seda? Hello, it's me, Seda. Uh, I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm a student in Dokuzeylül University and my department is psychology. So um, how did my English adventure start? It started in uh, middle school. Uh, there was some uh, foreign teacher and um, one of them is Canadian. That time I recognized that I should talk uh, with her because um, everyone, uh, most of my friends talk like uh, natives and I really want to talk like that. <laughs> it started like that. After that, um, when, I, um, when I was in high school, um, I apply some project which is about mm -hmm. abroad and I accepted that. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> I went abroad. And when I was uh, prep class again, 
uh, I try to be uh, better and better and I'm here. <laughs> That's all I think. I see. It's great. Wonderful, Seda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to both of you. Okay, so let's move to the second question. And what was or were your turning point or points in your own education? Yeah, let's start with you, Seda. Uh, I have three points, uh, turning points of my um, education. They are middle school, high school, and yes, prep school. Because mm -hmm. um, when I start talking English in middle school, I really um, notice that I really talk something and uh, I can do, um, I, I can do something in English. Mm -hmm. Then uh, high school, I feel a very uh, special students because uh, I, I was five in one in abroad uh -huh. uh, after that in prep class uh, I attend some events uh, some music events or some English event and I feel more stronger about myself <laughs> mm -hmm. so that's, that's your turning that. points I think. yeah okay thank you very much Seda what about you Samet what what are your turning points or sorry what were your turning um, points Kojan I can't say that I have a real a major turning point but the first time that I failed at university exam was a good turning point for me because I really didn't know how to study and mm -hmm. after the time that I graduate from high school um, I enrolled at private course center and I started to study again and I planned everything in detail and at the end I figured out my um, learning autonomy and uh -huh. also, um, when I get into, when I step into the academic life, I mean, um, the university, I really love the uh, study more scientific things, uh, mm -hmm. more pedagogical things. Um, actually, I always wanted to become a teacher, probably that's why. And I also would like to thank my lecturers. Um, they are very brilliant at their department, and they are very interested in it. Um, they are developing themselves continuously and they reflect this development to us. So, yeah, they support me a lot. And these are the things that I can say for this question. I see. Thank you very much, both of you, Thank Samir you. and Seda. Okay, uh, both of you. So, what are your expectations uh, from your future or from 2022? Let's start with you, Samir. Um, actually, there is no something that I expect too much, but <laughs> I want to turn, turn back my country as soon as possible now I'm in Cyprus. Uh, when I turn back, um, I want to find an internship before becoming third year student, uh, because these years and last years I took all the methodology lessons, and I want to apply and practice them. And I also, I want to finish this term as a high honor student as all the term that I finished. Yeah. Wonderful. are my expectations. I see. What about you, Seda? Um, my main expectation is I uh, want to find my true uh, hobby in, because those days I want to do everything. <laughs> but <laughs> I find true one because I should focus on them maybe mm -hmm. two, maybe three hobby, but I should um, certainly uh, find them. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all the expectation. I hope you find this hobby yeah. for yourself and for <laughs> you also, Samet. I hope you finish your uh, education and come back to your country as soon as possible. All right, then. Let's move some other questions about some uh, educational parts. Uh, this question again to both of you, like, can you describe a good example of a learning environment in terms of English classes? Seda, let's start with you. Uh, can you repeat again? Can you describe a good example of a learning environment in terms of English classes? Um, I think uh, a <laughs> good environment is they, uh, everyone should talk, everyone should um, try to something about in English and mm -hmm. uh, no one try to be joke uh, the other's uh, pronunciation or something like that because we should relax when we 
uh, when we are relaxed, we can uh, talk easily uh, and we can um, do everything easily. I think that that's all. <laughs> Oh, I agree. I agree with you. The safe environment, you mean. Yeah, you should be in a safe environment. All right. Thank you very much, Seda. What about you, Samet? What is your idea about the question? Um, for my understanding of such classrooms, Ojan, um, there have to be mobility. There mm -hmm. should be different classroom activities and extracurricular activities um, to both to facilitate learning. And classrooms should be multicultural, I think. Um, there always mm. have to be cultural exchange in order to facilitate the interaction and the communication among the learners. And language classrooms should uh, be colorful and vivid. The words charts, the posters, the puppets um, should be included in EFL classrooms. And also we need to use the literature, I think, as I was talking about uh -huh. earlier, so that we make the learners familiar with the target language and culture. Uh, for example, when I was in language classroom in high school, each month we had a movie corner. We chose some film posters and we wrote a description um, of the film and we put them on the wall as an exhibition. I see. Or um, each week we had different word tables related to um, the specific subjects uh, such as history or science. I see. All right. Thank you very much to both of you about uh, your ideas. Thank you. Okay, Seda, the next question is for you. And uh, if you could, if you could have, uh, what would you have skipped or added in your English lessons? Mm, I would skip some uh, reading lessons. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, I add some more uh, speaking lessons for example, discussing lessons, because uh, when we do practice uh, with talking, uh, I feel that I... Mm, oh, sorry. <laughs> when when uh, we talk more than before, uh, we can... Um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Just calm down. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> No. Just, yeah. just let. Okay, not a problem, Seda. I'll ask you this question again. Just think okay. about it. Let's okay. move to another question and uh, continue with uh, continue with uh, Samet, and I'll divert the question again. Okay, okay. this question <clears throat> uh, for Samet. Uh, what materials or activities keeps you most engaged in English lessons, and why, Samet? Um, Hojam. In my opinion, I really like to prepare presentation and you know the process we need to prepare ourselves for uh, teaching uh, to gain teacher posture and the teacher voice and each presentation has different topics. So preparing presentation increase my knowledge and also it helps us to be um, digitally competent because sometimes we need to use the technology. Mm -hmm. And last thing that I can mention is the drama. You know how it is effective in EFL classroom. Yeah. Sure. Um, it, is, it has some teaching uh, points and also it's kind of extracurricular. And what I'm trying to tell you is while doing drama, we both have fun and we learn accordingly. That's my answer. I see. Thank you very much, Samet. Thank you about that point. You mentioned good points. Yes, Sarah, yeah. let's uh, come back to your question again. Yes. Let me ask you the question again. If you could have, what would you have skipped or added in your English lessons? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, yeah. calm down, relax. I would skip uh, reading lessons because they are so slow, I think, and uh, I want to sleep when I reading when I <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> when someone reads something I always want to be active in lessons so I add more uh, talking lessons for example discussing lessons uh, before I um, try to uh, discuss uh, our class mm -hmm. when we are when we were at school uh, this time I think everyone has different ideas and I uh i uh, i get some improve i 
uh, I get some improved skills. Uh, uh -huh. Someone use different uh, words. Someone use different grammar. That time uh, I learned something uh, actively. I mm -hmm. in, not in book, not in somewhere uh, on my ears and something like that. Mm, I see. Okay. So your interesting ideas about the reading. Actually, you said we, I, you, you would like to uh, skip the <laughs> reading lessons, but you know the reading in has a, a important parts in language learning. But of course, this is your idea. I thought, I can't say anything about it. All right, but just know that uh, reading is uh, really you know that has an important place in learning a language. So. I just want to remind it, but I, I, I can't say about your idea. That's your idea. So I totally, oh, you. you know, uh, whatever you say. Okay. No, All right, you. then. So thank you very much, Teda. So let's move to another question. These questions to both of, for both of you. You had uh, tens or let's say, yeah, you had tens of exams or quizzes in your English classes. Do you think they were related to the real life? If not, what kind of questions would you like to see in the exams? Let's start with you, Summit. Uh, my answer is positive, actually. Um, I want to talk about my own experiences. Um, fortunately, I was a lucky student and still, of course, all of my teachers are occupationally updated. From fourth grade to university grade, all the materials, textbooks or exam question uh, refers to the present. And they are all updated and related to the real life. And in 2005, um, there was a language curriculum reform. The perspective changed um, from structural methodologies to more communicative, collaborative, mm -hmm. and content based instruction. And we were the students of those times. And it worked about mobility and realistic learning. And I, am, I remember that one of my teachers was teaching um, the structural passive voice uh, through the content of global warming. And you know how global warming is uh, update topic. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's all, they are all um, related to the real life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Stamet. So what about you, Seda? What is your idea about the question? Mm, in positive way, uh, my prep class uh, has some exams, uh, like talking, reading, uh, or something like that. I really like talking and um, listening parts because uh, they really uh, effective. Uh, but mm -hmm. again, I don't like um, uh, which part, reading part, but there, there are some spaces. Uh -huh. I think they are not in real life because sometimes we don't have really complicated um, uh, tenses <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I don't want to read them uh, I know uh, no one um, use them uh, very often and uh, that's uh -huh. why I don't like it but oh. um, completely everything is okay I think in the system oh, I see all right Okay, then. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Again, let's move to the next question. Thank you for your ideas about it. So the next question again is for both of you. Could you find enough opportunities to practice speaking in the class and outside the classroom? Let's start with you, Seda, this time. Okay. Yes, uh, I found because we have uh, some speaking lessons. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, after that, right. we had some um, events. Uh, Murat teacher <laughs> started to do that, and I um, catch this sh chance uh, from other um, schools. I uh, I can ch I can get chance uh, to talk with another uh, teachers uh, who mm -hmm. are for a, who are native. Uh, then. Again, Murat teacher gets some um, <laughs> tickets. He's about... here, by the way. <laughs> yes, I, I, uh -huh. I know. Uh, he uh, gets some tickets uh, in British culture uh, for um, speaking classes. Uh, Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I went there 
for a week and it's really attractive i i get some really uh, opportunities i think from that so you mean that you can easily find the uh, speaking chances in class and outside the class yeah yes murat hocam uh, seda called your name <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. you you provided uh, her uh, great opportunities in outside the classrooms and inside the classrooms she mentioned it here <laughs> thank you about the opportunities murat hocam thank you all right <laughs> yes samet what about you Um, to be honest, when I was at secondary school, I had no um, enough opportunities to practice speaking because we learned English in a written form. Uh, but in high school, especially in my language classroom, yes, I could because all the classroom consists of um, the language learners mm -hmm. and our teachers tried to make us uh, use the language in a spoken way. And when I look at the uh, university and the place that I'm in, Uh, Cyprus. This is a real opportunity, actually, because our medium of instruction is 100%. Uh, it's English for all the courses, and we are not allowed to use Turkish. It's very effective. Mm -hmm. And my university is very diverse. You can find any people from all over the world, and English is the common contest language. And I have lots of foreigner friends, and especially in Cyprus, uh, there are lots of yeah. people from England, and you can bump into them anytime and anywhere. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know that. When I was in Cyprus, that there are many, many foreign people live over there, and that's a really great opportunity for us exactly. to talk and to improve our English, especially. It's a great chance. Use that chance. Really, I hope you used it effectively, Samet. <laughs> uh, great. Okay, let's move to the next question. And Seda, this is this question is for you. As teachers, we are used to term washback effect, and we know that washback effects of testing can be both positive and negative. So I have a few questions about uh, your assessment experiences, like. Can you tell us about a test that motivated you and made you study and learn more and a test caused just the opposite? Mm. Uh, firstly, I think most of uh, teachers um, act like uh, we always see, firstly, wrong things. Uh, I feel really down uh, when I see my wrongs, firstly, because uh, I want to see my um, good job and I want to uh, be uh, better. So um, I don't know. How, how can I say? I don't know. But everything is not wrongs. Uh, we should catch our truths. Uh, after that, mm -hmm. we keep going to be better. Uh, but this test always, this is wrong, this is wrong, but uh, never, yes, you are great because you do that uh, better. You do that really great. I don't like this system, really. I see. Okay. So let me ask you another question. Which, I mean, like, what test or which uh, exam, like, when you think about the reading and listening and that speaking which one motivates you more and which one gives you the opposite uh speaking is uh feel more uh, motivated me because mm -hmm. uh, i can see my teachers fa teachers faces uh, for example i make some uh, good job and they really uh, like this Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see, yes, they like this uh, style, and I try to be better, try to be better. But when I uh, write something, for example, essay, uh, I always um, see that this is wrong. This is wrong. You should do something like better. But I can uh, do everything. Maybe I I'm better than the before essay. Uh, but this is not important. Important one is I feel like that. Maybe uh, most of teachers not like that, but I feel mm -hmm. like that. Wrong, 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 wrong. 
never you are better than before no <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, writing understand. writing style is bad. Okay, bad I got it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Seder. I think I can like as as also the Oya Hojam uh, mentioned here. Like you like the immediate feedback. You want get your feedback at that time, not a delayed feedback, not after that. Like, uh, but in writing, you can sometimes you get a delayed feedback later. We yes. get the feedback, but in the speaking and. Sometimes we give, give you the immediate feedback. I got it. So, okay. Thank you very much, Seda, about your ideas. Okay, let's move to the next question, which is, again, like this is because you are studying academic writing. Yeah, Murat Hocam also mentioned something. Because <laughs> yes. you are studying academic writing. That's why. Yeah, But I'm... by the way, don't, you know, the take it, you know, the sometimes always the negative part because they, they, are, they are giving that points. Like, this is wrong, this is wrong. To see you, to make you see the, your mistakes and... Just like to see them and understand why did you do that mistake and try not to do it for the next time. But yes. I think that makes you that makes you kind of you know the down when you see all the time your mistakes. I understand. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but always be positive and try to put something on 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 and on on and on, and keep good working. All right, all right. So let's move to the next question. Her ideas were about error correction. Types not wash back effect, I guess. I kind of, uh, hold on. All right. So what makes a teacher the best and the worst for you? This is very critical questions. Be careful about your <laughs> ideas here. Your teachers, your teachers are listening to you. Let's start with you, Summit. Um, as you said, it's a very critical question because um, it's really subjective. <laughs> and I will keep it short. Um, not a problem. This is your this is your area, so you can say your ideas. It's not a problem. Um, my, Don't worry my, about it. <laughs> so my teachers here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes um, them best? Or I think teacher uh, should be equal and authority. He or she develop himself or herself in terms of their department, and teacher should have a sense of empathy. And what makes them the worst are, um, actually, I have two things here. If they uh, bring their real life problems to the classroom, they are worst for me. Um, I don't like this kind of teachers because um, they reflect their emotions to the students and it affects um, Good point. Mm -hmm. motivation and learning um, anxiety. And The teacher who is stable at uh, her or his profession is worth for me because teacher should be update and should follow the new trends. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my answer. I see. Question. Good point, Samit. You mentioned. What about you, Seda? What is your idea about it? Mm, I think it's all about uh, how you behave your students. Uh, every teacher uh, should say... Uh, talk about our wrongs but someone try to be more rude uh, for example I naturally make wrongs and uh, they should they should try to be uh, teach uh, which one is true but sometimes some teachers uh, behave a little bit uh, rude and this time Uh, I don't want to talk anymore because I feel so nervous. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't feel like, yes, he or she supported me. Uh, it's all about behave, behavior, I think. I see, I see. Okay, the, you also you mentioned a good point. Thank you, Seda, about the behavior. Yeah, the, the, te the, the behaviors of the teacher are really important. And also the, the real life problems, as, as if we are a teacher, we shouldn't take them into the classrooms. Exactly. I totally agree. Your yeah. ideas about it. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much You about your ideas. Yes, Summit, this question is for you. Do you think you have learned how to learn? For example, after all, you know, the, those years with English lessons, can you start learning another foreign uh, language on your own? Um, as I told you, um, the year after I graduate from high school, I developed my study and language skills. At least now I know the system. I should be insistent and planned, and I know how to start and how to continue. 
Of course, there might be some challenges because languages are not the same, but at least the um, system of study will be similar. <clears throat> Most of the researchers say that the learning a new language is easy after learning another language. Maybe that's why. Uh -huh. uh, I that's see. Okay, so uh, of course, if, if, but you need to first, you feel that Okay, I have learned English. I uh, actually we can't say that I have learned English. It's uh, you know the you know we can't say that we have learned the language. Even it's like when you think about the Turkish, yeah. we never we never we never say that. Okay, I totally know Turkish. I totally know about everything about Turkish because it's not possible to know everything about the language. But just you need to feel like feel ready to learn to another language so after that time you can start learning a new language okay good thank you very much thank you for your ideas about it all right so let's move to the next question can you tell us five phrasal verbs that you always use in or outside the classes seda let's start with you uh hang on <laughs> hang on mm -hmm. hang out hang uh, out Switch off. <laughs> Switch off. <laughs> yes. Um, calm Two down. More. Calm down. One uh, left. Go over. Go over. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. What about you, Samet? Um, figure out, find out, sort out, um, deal with, and the call. Um, the first three verbs are synonymous, but I really um, uh -huh. enjoy them. Good, good phrasal verbs, really. Thank you very much. Thank you very much that you use it. All right, let's move to the next question. This question is really, really interesting. I'm really wondering what are you going to say about it? And get up, yes. Murat Hocam says also you need to use get up. Okay, it's time to get up. All right, nice. Okay, figure out. Great. So if you, if, if you could have one superpower to use in the classroom, what would it be and how would it help you? Samet, let's start with you. Uh, probably, Hojam, I would be a silence protector. Personally, <laughs> I can easily be distracted and especially while teaching something, just like almost any of the teacher. And if I can't stand the noisy environment, my motivation and energy will decrease and it won't be a fruitful teaching. Yeah, that's why actually I want to become a silence protector. But of course, language classroom should be mobile and active. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of vice versa. Yeah, if when you're in the language classes, sometimes it's not easy to, you know, they have the silent environment. But again, it's kind of the idea that the, the, the superpower idea is nice. Okay, because some people, as you mentioned, that, yeah. that as you mentioned, like uh, they need silent environment to focus on the, the yeah. lessons. I see. Okay. What about you, Seda? What is your superpower? <laughs> uh, I have some trauma, I think. <laughs> when I was in middle school, uh, I am really new for learning English, but my uh, friends are re were really good, uh, like pronunciation or speaking, uh, mm -hmm. something like that. And one day, <laughs> I made some mistakes about pronunciation. So that time, they really made fun of me. I uh -huh. I feel so ashamed and uh, I want to be done. <laughs> you know, it's a joke. Uh, I want the superpower <laughs> that uh, when I make some uh, pronunciation uh, mistakes, my friends and teachers heard that true pronunciation <laughs> ah i see yes i see it's, it's, an, it's a really interesting uh, superpower just yeah. like actually you want it's kind of a you want to talk like native like a kind of yeah kind of a superpower that you want to speak as a native but yes. yeah it's a nice uh, nice superpower can be <laughs> with every language all right thank you seda all right so let's go to the next question what was the biggest challenge that you have faced this year so far? Let's start with you, Seda. Um, falling apart, uh, someone who uh, I love. For example, my family, my best friend, my boyfriend, mm -hmm. my pet. Because uh, I have so many friends in uh, university, but I, am, I feel 
uh, I felt alone. Uh, you know that this feeling because you are new and everyone uh, different. Uh, you miss your country, maybe you miss your city. Uh, so that time, I um, feel like I, I I'm just I'm just person. Uh, I um, try to be strong uh, because there 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 is no uh, similar person. There is no. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, close friend. After that, uh -huh. it's uh, it's get more better, better and better. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> By the way, uh, Murat Hocam, you know the wrote the, the name gave a yes. name for your for your superpower, like a pronunciation corrector that can be the name. I should of write your... down. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Thank you, Murat Hocam. Uh, all right. So, what about your summit? What are what what is your like what what the challenge that you've faced so far? Um, this spring term at our university, uh, we wanted to establish a student community um, uh -huh. in the name of our department, English language teaching, with my dear Nazia Toja. Um, it was a really hard and detailed process. We have to consider all the procedures in detail, even the students' allergic illness, Hoja. Mm -hmm. We had lots of rules to obey, uh, but with the effort of my team, we managed to um, get the acceptance from the rectorate. Uh, now we have an ELT club, and I'm the president. Uh, <laughs> here, I want to thank my club advisor, who is Naziet Merjan. I think she is here. Thank yeah, you she's here. All your efforts in supporting to us. Thank you. Okay, so great. Good luck in your duty, Tommy. Okay, then. So let's move to another question. Can you tell us five adjectives that describe an effective language learners? Yes, let's start with you, Summit. Um, a language learner should be insistent, creative, uh, mm -hmm. productive. Mm -hmm, three. And okay, four. And the last one? Oh, okay, five. Thank you very much. Good, Summit. Thank you. What about you, Seda? She's uh, thinking. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, talkative, um, ambitious, uh -huh. confident, uh -huh, courageous, right. and attentive. Uh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Nice adjectives. Good job. Okay. Thank you, Seda. Let's move to another question then. So, by the way, just two questions left. Time flies, you know. <laughs> All right, let's move to the next question. Seda, let's start with you. Think that we finish the session or interview, what do you call it, and you step outside your home and find a lottery ticket that ends up winning $10 million. What would you do? Uh, how should I think? Like Turks or just Seda? <laughs> uh, I think like Seda. Feel free. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a joke. Uh, I book some flight tickets uh, for abroad uh, to, because I want to travel there. And I um, try to set up a new um, company, uh, which is about my hobbies or um, my department or mm -hmm. both of them. Uh, after that, I turn back my country because <laughs> I think if you have uh, enough, not enough, plenty of money, uh, Turkey is heaven. <laughs> I want to travel <laughs> my uh, real heaven, I think. Uh -huh. I can, I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a nice, 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 uh, the plans. And go, go for your plans. All right, yeah. Seda. Oh. Okay, yeah, Murat Ajan, on behalf of the country. Yeah, definitely, Murat Ajan. <laughs> yes, what about you, <clears throat> Summit? As soon as I afford the things that I need, I will invest <laughs> the rest of the money for my future business. Um, uh -huh. I want to establish a private course center and the visa coin selling um, as uh -huh. a combined work. And I also publish some teaching books for university students just like how Richard and Rogers or Jeremy Harmon did. Uh, whoa, great. <laughs> nice plans. Yeah. yeah, I hope you would, would, would do them. <laughs> All right. So here is the last question. Okay. Here is the last question. 
What is your motto? Summit, let's start with you. No one can close the door that God has opened for you. Oh, <laughs> can you take it again? Can you say? No one can close the door that God has opened for you. If you have oh, a chance, okay. use it. Okay, thank you. Nice motto. What about you, Seda? What is your motto? Uh, my motto is uh, think about what you want and talk positively because uh, it will uh, turn you really effectively. Uh, I mean, if you want uh, something uh, really and uh, you always um, repeat on your ma in your mind, uh, it's really uh, come, <laughs> come, yeah, it's, it's really uh, became, it's really uh, <laughs> uh -huh. being real, <laughs> yes. You got it, okay. I think. Ah, I got it, no problem, it's okay. I got it, I got it, don't worry, Seda. Thank you, thank you very much for your uh, mottos, lovely mottos and useful mottos. All right, so that's all my questions to the, the board of you. So before ending our live sessions, would you like to add anything else? Summit, let's start with you. Hojan, uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation this time. Oh, you're welcome. We are the guests. Um, I really like this session and <laughs> inshallah it won't be the last session. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I want to thank to my um, teachers. I think two of them here, one of is Naziet Hojam and the other one is Hajar Hojam from high school. Mm -hmm. um, I really love and miss you Hojam. Uh, thank you for being here and supporting me. Great, wonderful. What about you, Seda? Uh, firstly, thank you again for your invitation and thank you for my Murad teachers because he always support me. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I want to say something about my fans. Uh, try to Try to talk uh, someone's because wrongs are not everything. You can mm -hmm. be better and don't be uh, afraid of something. You can try. You really you try something, step okay. by step. <laughs> step by step. All right. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, uh, Samet and Seda. And I would like to say one more time, thank you very much for accepting my invitation for student talks and being my guest tonight. And tonight, uh, Samet and Seda were with us in student talks and we had really fruitful sessions with them and we have learned no, n lots of things from them probably tonight. And I'm sure that it, 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 it gave us some ideas about the educational questions that we you know the discussed here tonight. And I'm sure that you all liked it because I loved it and I enjoyed it, the sessions. And until the next week, I mean, like the, the next Monday, we are going to be here again at the same time on the same day. And so, as you know, that Monday at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., we are going to be here with different two students from different universities and maybe some different countries, just like today. Samet is now, he's in Cyprus, Northern Cyprus, and Seda in Izmir. Uh, all right, sorry, Manisa, not in Izmir right now. <laughs> yes. Actually, he's in Izmir. But right now she's in Manisa. All right then. Thank you very much, both of you. And thank you very much, our audiences. And until the next time, wherever you are, take care of yourselves. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And until the next time, bye-bye and peace, everybody. And bye-bye, Seda and Samet. And bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.